Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the Google Chrome one tab extension and what that'll do is it'll help clean up your tabs and also free up some resources on your computer because Chrome tends to be a little resource intensive if you're using a lot of open tabs. So it's pretty easy to install. You just go to the one tab uh, uh, site from the Chrome web store here and click on add to Chrome. I'll put a link in the description. I already have it installed here so it's just a couple clicks to add to it and then you should be uh, good to go. So once you're there, you'll have your uh, Google Chrome extensions right here, and then you can just click on that, and then click on one tab. But if you want, you can also click on the thumb tag here to pin it to your bar up here, so you don't have to keep on doing the two steps there. And so then now in this browser, we have all these tabs open. And like I was saying, if you go to Task Manager and go to the Processes tab, you'll see Google Chrome, um, and you might see it multiple times in there, and you'll see how much CPU and memory is using, and sometimes it gets kind of high if you have a lot of uh, open tabs there. And so this will kind of help you free up some resources, and but more importantly, kind of free up some space here too as well. Okay, so how it works. So we have these open tabs, like I said, and we're going to add them to a list by clicking on our one tab button here. And I can see it kind of closes them off and adds them to a list down on the side here. So the way it frees up the resources, because it looks like it actually closes them and adds them to a list, doesn't just minimize them, because if you click on one to restore it, you'll see it loads it again. It's not just opening it again. And now you can see it's out of the list because we opened it again. So if we want to get it back in the list, we need to go back to it, click on the one tab again, and you can see it makes a new group here. So let's say we wanted it back in this group and not here. We could just drag it into here. And if we wanted to take a site out of this list, we could just close it with the X there, and now it's out of the list. And let's say we wanted to restore the whole list here, just click on Restore All. And now you can see it's actually loading all these sites again. And if you don't want to see this guy here, you could just right click on it and close it, and it'll just leave your tabs open here. So now let's put them back in the list again. And if you want to delete them all, you could delete them out of here as well. And uh, this part here is kind of cool. If you want to share your list, let's say you, or even share it with yourself on a different computer, let's say if you're not syncing your Chrome uh, uh, configuration, you know, bookmarks and save sessions and that kind of thing, you click on Share's web page. It'll open a tab, make a QR code that people could scan, or even easier, you could just take this link here, copy it, and let's say it was, we're going to put it in a different browser. Let's open up Edge here. See, now we have these links here, and we could just click on each one. If we click on one, it'll open it up and get rid of the list. We could just right-click it, open a new tab or a new window, and so on. So that's kind of cool. And if, when you're done with the shared part, you could just close it and get back to your list. And then you click on More. You can name this group if you want. Let's call it, you know, Best Sites. And that way, if you have a, uh, a new... Let's see, let's just go to Google Images. And the Play Store. So now if we have a new group here, so we have this best sites and we have this new unnamed group. And let's say you don't want the name, you could just click on more again, name this group, and just kind of get rid of it like that. And now also, if you want to do something cool, you could star the group, you know, to kind of make it at the top of all your groups there, and you could unstar it. And if you lock the group, so let me show you how the best part of the lock feature. So actually, I don't want to lock this one. So let's say we uh, restored this page here, this Windows 365 Cloud. You could see it took it out of the group. So if we want to put it back in the group, we're going to have to go here, re re one tab it, I should say, and then you could drag it back into this group. But if we lock this group and we open this Windows 365, see it opens it, but it leaves it in the group, so it doesn't lock it. And it also doesn't let you delete it because you can see you hover over it and the X is not there. So if we, and also delete all is grayed out, so if we unlock it, we could delete all and then delete each individual, each individual ones. And then like I say, if you have other groups here, you could 
you know, combine them into there and that kind of thing. So that's it for the uh, sections there. And then we also have some options up here. You know, this is what we just did. Share all as a web page. And if you want to export your URLs, you could do this as a text kind of listing here. If you don't want to do it with a, the, the page share like we did previously. And let's say we have some other pages open here. And then we have a list here. And let's say, let's just restore these two just to get some, or these three, just to get some actual tabs working here. So when you're in the one tab group and you have some other tabs that are open that are not, you know, already closed up in here in the list, you could click on here to bring all your other existing open tabs into one tab but it will make them into its own group here. Then you could kind of combine them by dragging them. And of course, there's a few options here if you want to go through those and kind of configure the way it works. So, yeah, that's pretty, you know, pretty much it. You know, it does quite a bit for an add-on. You just kind of figure out how it, how it works and put the pieces together and, you know, decide if you want to have multiple groups or combine them into one group. And like I said, if you want, if you have your favorite group here, you could rename it or star it to put it on the top. So once again, I'll put the uh, link in the website so you can go there and install the extension and then try it out for yourself. And if you don't like it, you could click on the extensions here. And then the three dots here, you could remove it from Chrome if you don't want to have it there anymore. So pretty easy to get rid of if you don't like it. All right, give it a shot, see how it works for you, and take it from there. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. <laughs>